Okay, let's have a mic. Hello? Oh, hi, Chris. Uh, yes. Listen, no problem. I'll get him to make contact with you straight away. OK, bye. David! Really helps the Lee turn the boat through the wind. And Lee Ho, let go. Sorry to interrupt. Urgent message from Christopher. He thinks he's found the perfect noodle for your Chinese gourmet ready meal range. He needs confirmation now in order to secure the deal. OK, I'm onto it. Thanks, Ricky. Same time next week, OK? Coffee? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so what are you doing today, then? Oh, I'm planning a trip to Cyprus with my history professor to visit a Byzantine site. Now, where did I put the virtual taster? Now, where did I put it? Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, this project is different, we believe, from virtual reality in that we are trying to give the user the sense that perceptually they are somewhere else. So they suspend belief they are in their living room or at the base where they started and we transport them somewhere else without actually going anywhere and the key to it is that what we present them with in terms of the five senses is sufficient for them to believe that they are genuinely somewhere else and so the term we're using is real virtuality rather than virtual reality as a way of emphasizing the real nature of the project or the real nature of the experience Are you here, David? I am there. David, I've found this fantastic Pan-Asian restaurant here in Bristol. The chef here has created the most richly textured rice noodle I've ever tried. Uh, don't take my word for it, though. Try it for yourself. What a wonderful taste. These are fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Just the texture and the... Wonderful flavour. Oh, fantastic noodle. The taste is just bang on. Absolutely. So we're currently very concerned with the whole nature of how humans perceive what's going on around them from the five senses primarily and how those senses interact to allow the brain to believe that it is really somewhere else and we suspect that it's the interaction between the senses that's going to give us a handle on how you can convince somebody that what they're looking at is in that sense real but actually it's not real because it's virtual Hence the term, real virtuality. Ah, Kim, thanks for coming. Hi. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the Angelopistus Church, here at Gitar in Cyprus. As you can see, the outside is not very imposing, but inside... Wow! Wonderfully rich decoration, but nothing compared to how it may have appeared in the past. As you can see, hear, and even smell. Oh, yes! The senses combine in an almost magical 